just in case you confused it with something vaguer like Kitchen 20th Century. Given Sony's branding dominance in the mobile cassette player wars, this is a product placement for Sony even if it isn't. Which is even more interesting, given Marvel and Sony's fascinating love-hate relationship over a certain Spider-Man. Comic book hero's parents are dead or dying cliché. No. Quill runs from terms of endearment into an American werewolf in London. This logo gets longer and longer every f***ing time I see it. Also, Marvel logo waits until three and a half minutes pass so that anyone waiting in line for popcorn could still see its brilliance. Yep, nothing important happened to that alien kidnapped child for the next 26 years. Hologram home video time machine artifact locator. These credits for John C. Riley and Glenn Close are on screen exactly as long as both actors are. After he was shot in space 26 years ago, he still found a radio shack in space that sells AA batteries. Either that or the batteries have been last for 26 years, which is simple as sh Also, this tape isn't worn out from 26 years of overuse. Also, even if he found a power supply, it's not like Walkmans were known for working properly over great periods of time. Sh I had three myself before I was in high school. Quill is addicted to things. Whoever got credit for putting the soundtrack together clearly has a Bachelor of Arts from the University of watching tons of Tarantino movies. Quill is singing this song in real time, but you cut from the Space Rat mic shot to several shots of him dancing with nothing whatsoever in his hands. You can't just cut back to the rat microphone thing like he still has it. Previous owner decided to leave this valuable item that literally could have been pocketed before abandoning the planet. Thunder and lightning indicate something ominous is coming. How do you know about this? How did you show up to get it right when he did? This is f***ing spaced, right? Korath shoots a hole in the wall that just happens to be the direct escape route to Quill's ship. Korath just took out a huge stone wall with his gun, but they still need to build this anti-aircraft thing for some reason. Look, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I forgot you're here. How long were you dancing on the surface to that one song? You must have forgotten her days before you even landed here, right? So he managed to find the parts to make this, but couldn't get back to Earth? Because I'm thinking Earth is maybe the only place he could have gotten these parts. Doctor Who is that? Man, it's like the blue chick from Avatar had sex with the Hura and the green chick from Star Trek and had a kid. How such an awesome threesome produced a child is immaterial. I just want to see the sex tape. The scene does not contain that sex tape. I promised Thanos I would retrieve the orb for him. Only then will he destroy Xandar for me. If Thanos is as powerful as this movie suggests, then why does he need to make deals with less powerful people to retrieve important orbs for him? Why not just get the orb yourself and save the murder for hire trouble? This movie could easily have been called Getting to Know a Bunch of New Planets and Sh Look at Mr. Smiles over here. Rocket, like Marvel, commands us to look at a Stan Lee cameo. How f***ing easy is this dude to find? She doesn't appear to have had any trouble whatsoever. Rocket just got an eye paddler to find him. Is space a lot smaller than I thought it was, or what? Where's Blue Merle? Why can't he find people easily? Especially since it seems he was supposed to be here for the orb sale anyway. Why didn't he book it here when he found out Quill had ditched him? Damn, Quill has something for every situation in that jacket, doesn't he? Why didn't he just do this before? Gang of misfit characters introduced via police lineup cliche. We interrupt this rollicking space action comedy to make you think you're watching a Riddick movie for a minute. I'm Groot. Vin Diesel reprises his Iron Giant role for Groot. Man, that must have been great. Sitting around all day doing virtually nothing? Growling into a microphone for a couple of hours? That's your job? It's like those assholes from CinemaSense. Hey, let's let these prisoners we picked up together stay in a holding cell together. What do you say? That there, son, sounds like good prison to me. Ha ha, but Gamora clearly went into a personal bunk cell thing to avoid being killed. So why are all these fuckers out in a prisoner pile? Why does she get a special cell that no one else gets? Why the hell does Quill care if Gamora's being led to her death? It's not like they've had time to get to know each other. And before that, there was all that fighting over an orb. So... There's not much in the way of I'll save you from a prison shanking kind of relationship here. Also, how'd they get inside that closed personal cell the movie made a big deal about to drag her here? Consider this a death sentence! Just kill her already. Her life is not yours to take. Good God, how many people get saved by this only I can kill this person bullshit? Hey, 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 hey! Super aliens with age-old beef pause to listen to random upstart human just because he starts talking. When you... Why would I put my finger on? Right, because that of all gestures is unique to Earth, somehow. No. Our sources within the kiln say Gamora has her own plans for the orb. Damn, you got some f***ing good-ass sources. As far as I can tell, there are a handful of people that know that, and one of them is not only a spy for you, but managed to get word from a supermax prison to you about it? But return to me again empty-handed, and I will bathe the starways in your blood. This is an odd threat since Thanos is the one who called Ronan to this meeting in the first place, before the orb could even be located. Not like he's been jacking off. 
Well, maybe he has, but the point is, this whole scene seems like it was created just so you could see Thanos and remember those great times you had watching the end credits of the Avengers. He could have made this threat via hologram, right? I'm laughing while I'm sitting, but damn, apparently this giant tree can just tear off this box in the most heavily guarded part of the prison without being seen? Badass robot guards make you wonder why the prison was using human guards to walk these people through the halls earlier. Or at all. All prisoners return to your sleeping areas. In other words, the floor. I realize trees can be dense, but this bullshit right here is some bullshit. This cool slow motion shot of the gun should also serve as an excellent reminder to how poor the aim of the robot prison guards must be. Like, stormtroopers are making fun of you guys. Damn, this space raccoon has better hands than Jerry Rice. Number one! Why not have all of them shoot at the same time? Are we really not past the warning stage here? Down. This entire strategy of big gun firing absolutely reeks of number two. Number three! <sighs> God damn it. I'll fire on my command! Oh, now you get the idea to fire more than one at a time. Shit, dude, this is late enough to be pregnant. He turned off the artificial gravity everywhere but in here. Because when the designers of this prison installed the artificial gravity, they decided to leave an a la carte option. You got the orb, right? Yes. This asshole is only tossing the orb out in the open because the audience somehow needed to know that he kept it with him, despite the information that it is no longer in the bag. How does this guy not know there's a prison break going on? As soon as Groot pulled that battery, alarms went off everywhere. And I know he's looking at some screens. None of those told him anything? Drax spots Quill flying around the ship before he's actually even flown around the ship. I see the mask, but why are his hands able to just fly free in open space without, you know, serious mortal injury? Can the space air not go up his sleeve and get it pretty much his whole body except his face? Yo, Ranger Rick, what are you doing? Peter Quill is the Sawyer of this movie. He's hunky, good in a fight, and makes up nicknames for everyone. Otherwise, not much substance. If he calls someone Freckles, I'm out of here. Oh, she has no idea. Find a black light, places look like a Jackson Pollock painting. Best line in the entire movie is also the most unbelievable. We saw him get abducted as a little f***ing kid. A kid at an age where even if somehow Jackson Pollock had been heard, it damn sure hadn't been remembered enough to make a semi-accurate semen-related reference like this. It gets to the point where there are so many characters in one movie, you just want to crawl into a little ball in the theater until a 16-year-old usher squirts you out. You know what? F*** it. I'll take a sin off for group being awesome. I'm not made of stone. My connection is making us wait. It's just a negotiation tactic. Or a screenwriter's tactic, so we can get some backstory on you two. I happen to have it on me when I was the day that she... Yeah, I know. Pretty coincidental, right? Mom dies and he's abducted by aliens on the same day? Sh the same f***ing hour! Four billion units! Rocket! Well, way to tell the bar at the mining colony staffed only by outlaws what a ridiculous sum of money you're all about to come into. Sweet move. Can use this stone to mow down entire civilizations like wheat in a field. Huh. I bet when we finally see someone wielding these against our heroes, be it in this movie or a future sequel, or an Avengers film, the stone's wheat field genocide power won't be used. I just kind of have a feeling. Just a reminder, this is the explosion Quill and Gamora survive by hiding behind a desk. Quill! Don't you move, boy! Damn, nearly every single antagonist showed up at the same time. It is Gamora! She is escaping with the orb! How the f*** do you know that from here? If you're that clairvoyant, then you've been holding out, babe. The stone is in the furthest pod. So your ships have scanners that can detect the stone, but only at super close proximity? I'm trying to figure out why you've been spending so much time looking for it. Why doesn't Ronan just go ahead and murder this guy? Did he grow a conscience? We interrupt this slightly better Serenity ripoff to bring you a Star Wars chase. Cause why the hell not, right? We got bits and pieces of every other space movie in this thing. Subception. I don't recall killing your family. I doubt I'll remember killing you either. Not if you don't do it already! Gamora is apparently resistant to explosions that exhibit total destruction. That's twice in like six minutes. You also won't remember killing him if you let Yellow Liquid decide this. How long does it take a human to die that's just dangling out in space with no suit or helmet or nothing? I found something inside of myself. So that I could put something inside of yourself. Ronan the Accuser is so busy accusing, he doesn't have time to actually kill any of his victims. All Ronan's gotta do is touch the stone to the planet's surface and zap! So let me ask, while you're sitting here planning for Ronan not to do that, how come Ronan hasn't already gone to the planet and done that? Sorry, boy, but his captain's gotta teach his men what happens to those who walk crossing. But only after lots of talk and monologuing and other time-wasting bullshit. Movie digs deep into the bag of other movie's tricks and finds that beloved nugget. One person in the group suddenly agrees with a crazy suggestion and one by one everyone else falls in line thing. Where, when, and why did they get matching red leather outfits? Are you telling me that Quill or Yondu had them on board in everyone's perfect size? 
including a hot-ass green chick and a tiny-ass raccoon dude? Get the fuck out of here. I don't know that I believe anyone's 100% a dick, man. This guy has never seen cinema since. Evacuate the city. Our priority is to get our people away from the battle. Well, sh it's too damn late, right? Well, this doesn't feel like Independence Day at all. This sheer number of ships exist. Also, why hasn't Ronan just stepped down for a minute and yelled Muad'Dib or something and blow everyone away with his Infinity Stone? Oh look, Groot has a very useful power we somehow haven't heard about before now. The missile obviously comes from her right side, but then the reveal shows it was Drax, who was clearly on her left side. See, this is when I start shooting, but that's just me. Jeez, with all this power from an arrow, it seems like he could've used that while he was still in the air. Just because you shoot a ship before it crash lands does not mean that the explosion no longer matters. Everybody shoot them before they hit the ground! Space Invaders. A sisterly sword fight would hold way more interest for me if I had any idea what either of their powers were, what they could do, which one was more powerful than the other, and so forth. Groot kills the entire second wave of soldiers in one simple move, making me wonder why they had so much trouble with the first wave. <laughs> Shit, Groot. I might have to take off an additional five cents for that right there. You are so fucking awesome. His Infinity Stone gives him the power to wipe out entire planets with a single blow. But here he uses the much less powerful throw them all back a few feet maneuver. For some reason. Damn, how many ass beatings from Ronin does this guy need? Rocket could have killed all his friends with this move. It's amazing he even knew where to crash this thing. Also, the Dark Aster has some shitty exterior hull protection if Rocket can just do this shit here. But they wasted all that time and all those lives on the stupid golden nip. And it turns out all you need to do to bring this ship down is crash a single ship into it. All the good guys recover from the crash immediately, but super powerful Ronin does not. Groot's body is the Adam West Batman of convenient plot devices. Oh, there's Ronin now that it's time for him again. And he's still only using his toss people a short distance ability, rather than killing fools. Behold, your guardians of the galaxy. Roll credits. What are you doing? Why do you give a shit? Just kill him and wonder why white dudes be so crazy. That's my motto. No! No. Take my head, Peter. Sense memory. Somehow, immortal power is contained by having three people and a raccoon absorb the immense energy. Who knew? Did they know? This is one of the luckiest hunches ever hunched. Yandu and his thugs show up at the site of the crash before any Nova Corps even think about checking that shit out. Well, turned out okay. Probably good we didn't deliver him to his dad like we were tired to do. Haha, <laughs> clunky dialogue is exposition. Oh, the old fake orb trick. Got him. But the f did you get a spare orb from? And how long have you been carrying it around waiting to pull this little trick? Raise your hand if you think Groot is really dead. Okay, now if you're a toddler, put your hand down. Your father? Well, he's something very ancient we've never seen here before. That could be why you were able to hold a stone for as long as you did. And all the other impossible shit you did. Nice troll doll. Troll dolls as a brand are owned by DreamWorks Animation. So good job, you just helped bankroll Shrek 5. Groot's erection. Is Drax sharpening his knife to the Jackson 5, or is baby Groot dancing without the music? Howard the f***ing duck. Right here, a Kree girl tried to rip out my thorax. Give me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. Number two, step forward. Give me the fucking keys, you fucking cocksucker, motherfucker! Knock it off, get back. You are the one who transmitted the message. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I have you now. If you want to run this ship, yes. Well, you can't. They say most of your brain shuts down in cryosleep. All but the primitive side. And you may choose a woman. We have many fine women. Ninat is the best singer. Well, I don't want Ninat. Peral is a good hunter. I look around at us. You know what I see? Losers.
If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. Why are you doing this? Why? You stay. I go. I may not be a master builder. I may not have a lot of experience fighting or leading or coming up with plans or having ideas in general. In fact, I'm not all that smart. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire.